The fourth prescription is hope. Hope is one of the pillars of Christian life. You can't be a Christian without hope. It is expressed by waiting. Waiting for what? The first thing I am waiting for is for God to comfort me. Believe me, if you live with this expectation, He will spoil you. There are some people who feel God's comfort 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. With everything that happens in their day, they feel that God is carrying them off the ground, comforting them from every direction. God does so with other people, but they don't feel it at all because they only expect anger and punishment. But you should expect God's comforting messages. He comforts you by people who love you, by verses, by loving situations. Maybe you are bad, but that has no relationship with this. Maybe you don't pray. God will grant you to pray tomorrow. But this doesn't cancel the truth that you should expect that our good Lord is still good. There are people who are always pessimistic. They always expect bad news, loss, problems. These negative expectations make them unable to live at all. They want the day to end so they can move on to the next day, which they also want to finish. Every day is a blessing and grace from God, and whoever lives with God doesn't want the hour to end because he is happy and satisfied, fulfilled. Expect positive things. Expect even that people can change, including yourself. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says, Love hopes all things. Have hope that this person or that person who is tiresome can change. Hope that your prodigal son can return. Hope that problems can be solved. You say, it can't be fixed. That's wrong. It can be fixed. That's hope. If you live with hope, you will have peace. People will say that you are optimistic, but this is a very weak word beside the word hope. Hope depends on God.